Hey guys, Tim here with Red Wing RC, and we're here today to show off some of the new electric power systems we have set up. Uh, we're going to keep this short and sweet. So what a lot of guys call us asking is when they want to, you know, think about electric is how do I know what power system to go with, what motor, an ESC combination, battery combination, and the answer is simple. Uh, you don't. We know, and so we're going to help you out in that department by setting up three different power systems for you. Uh, we have our 20cc power system, 30cc power system, and 50cc power system. And you'll notice right off the bat, we're going with Hacker. Uh, we're going with high quality motors, and we're doing that for a reason. Um, when it comes to electric power systems, you're still pushing the envelope to get as good of a power to weight ratio as you get with gas power engines. And so uh, the key to this is using the most efficient systems you can so that you don't have an overly heavy motor trying to push your engine. So if you can get a motor that's starting out, you know, four or five ounces lighter, but has the same amount of power output, well, that's a good place to start. So when you go to our website, uh, you're going to see on our cart that we have three power systems set up under electric power systems. If you click on that, you're going to see we have a 20cc, a 30cc, and a 50cc setup already designed for you. The 20cc starts with this A50 uh, 14XS motor, the high quality Talon 90 ESC, and then uh, one of these 4600 milliamp 5 cell aero model batteries. And these aero model batteries are very high quality as well, along with the, uh, the ESCs we're using. And you know, it's, it's worth the investment to get a little bit more power to weight efficiency as well as longevity. Um, a lot of batteries, you know, if you put them under uh, some pressure, put them through the paces, uh, you don't treat them right, they're going to wear out really fast. These aero models, if you treat them right, are going to last a real long time. Um, so uh, with the 30cc, we have the A60 6XS motor, and then we have the Hacker um, X110 Opto Pro, and then one of the uh, six cell 5000 milliamp batteries. And then with the 50cc system, we have this A60 18L motor, uh, the Phoenix Edge 120, and then two of these 6S uh, 5000 milliamp batteries. Now, uh, as mentioned before, you know, you're really pushing the envelope when you're going electric. So what we did is we designed these to be very competitive in power to weight. With the 20cc, for example, we'll give you kind of uh, the, the weights of what these are versus gas engine setups. And the 20cc system here with the engine, the battery, and the, the SC combined, and that's going to be basically replacing your engine system, the ignition, muffler, and fuel, um, is 35 ounces. Now, how does that compare to the DLE 20? Well, the DLE 20, with about three quarters of a tank of fuel in your plane, would be 38 ounces. So the reason we went with three quarters of a tank is that usually you're going to land with you know a third of, of your tank still full. You're going to start 100%. So we're kind of averaging your your average weight during your flight. So as you can see, this system uh, starts out at 35 ounces with your battery, everything, whereas your average flight weight for DLE 20 is at 38. So this is actually more competitive uh, than the gas engine setup. Now this uh, 30cc system is even more competitive. We kept this one really strong, really conservative in the weight ratio and we went with the A60 6XS motor and um, uh, so with this system we, we have a total of about 48 ounces for this system. Now with a 30cc DLE with three quarters of a tank of fuel, you're going to be at about 54 ounces. So that's what, uh, six ounces lighter than the gas engine setup. So you can see very competitive. And the reason we did that is you might only get uh, with one of these batteries that's going with the five cell 4600 milliamp, you may only get a four to five minute flight. But uh, what we think is it's better to go ahead and land, switch out the battery and get a great five minute flight rather than put extra milliamps in there so you can have an average or so-so power to weight ratio for 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, it's so easy to change out your battery with an electric plane, you know, it's, it's worth it to land, go up again, and uh, just do it that way and keep these planes flying the way they're supposed to. The uh, 50cc version is going to put you in, it's going to come with two of these 
the six cell battery. So that's going to put you at about 89 ounces, so about 90 ounces, 89, 90 ounces, versus about 80 ounces, 78 for um, a DLE with uh, DLE 55 with three quarters of a tank of fuel left in it. So you can see we've got a little bit more of a, a weight uh, disadvantage with the 50cc, but as you go up in size in planes, the, the planes can tend to take a little bit extra weight a little better. Uh, also, one thing not yet mentioned is that each one of these power systems comes with a APC electric power prop that fits these systems and is designed for these systems to give you the, the best efficiency for your setup. Uh, it's included in the price, so you're really getting a, a pretty good value with these. And uh, like we said, you know, this is kind of the way to do it if you're, if you're wanting to get into electric, but it's kind of been a pain to figure out how to set it up and what to use. Well, we've made it easy for you. So just go to our power systems, click this, add to your cart, you get everything you need, you're good to go. So, uh, you know, let us know if, if you guys have requests for other engine types, or I'm sorry, other motor types, uh, and, and other power systems, other batteries. Let us know, we'll kind of slowly start adding to them and adding maybe one system for uh, more sport and one for 3D. But right now we've put together the systems that we think are gonna be best for overall flight for your 3D flight, especially in the 30cc size. This is gonna be a great 3D setup. Uh, the 50cc is gonna be a good 3D and sport setup. Um, and this one's gonna be a great 3D setup and of course sport as well. So there you have it. That kind of explains our setup on the power systems. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll see you in the skies. Thank you.